you know, the deep V reigns supreme on the ocean. <laughs> I mean, the boat was designed to run in rough offshore conditions. I think we've been on the water for a collective 25 hours over the last few days. <laughs> well, we just completed the world's first EV crossing from South Florida to Bimini, Bahamas. Here we are. Sophia. Well, boys, we just used our first percentage of capacity. 99 to go. <laughs> I think we'll get there. Well, when we set out to build Voltari, it was really important to us that uh, the boat was ocean worthy. You know, we come from performance boating world, and so it was really important that we put this electric Voltari powertrain into a traditional deep V dead rise. So when we get out there in the ocean, we're not compromising anything. <laughs> Of, of marine EV is here and a lot of people think it's like it's just starting but it started years ago we didn't set out to make just an electric boat we set out to make a better boat it's not about like oh we're gonna have to sacrifice to go to electric boating it's better boating in the Bahamas one way or another. I'm more excited about leaving tonight than I was about leaving last night. Yeah. Um, I don't mind night running. I run a lot at night, fished a lot at night. But going across at night, you're missing that awesome vibe of being out in the open ocean and seeing as far as the horizon will take you. Yeah. That's just something really cool that everybody needs to see and experience. So leaving at 3 a.m., the weather looks perfect. The sun's gonna come up. Oh, when that sun comes up, what it does to your spirit. Oh, oh the energy you get. Yeah. It the will just fishing drive. Fishing rods are going to come out. We're going to have some fun. And and the weather is going to kick down, especially on that Bahama side. So we've got a window here to do this. And I say we go tonight. To me, I think we got to look at this as a huge positive uh, from a photo shoot perspective. I mean, if you look at the EV space, who's got blue water shoots? We're going to be in Bimini, Bahamas, man, in the nicest water in the world. Go, go! I'm like, man, I can't keep up. I 
you hit it again on the mid range, I'm like, okay, the shoot's over. I can't follow him. Power, baby! Yeah. Most of these larger combustion boats out here plug into electric power anyway to run their air conditioners, their fridges, etc. when they're at dock. So we're coming in and that infrastructure is there. It's like every slip has its own fuel pump and we can charge the thing from zero to full in, in eight hours. It's amazing, while we sleep, every morning we wake up, we got a full tank. So when we're at a marina and we pull in and we go to plug the boat in, our charge cable, you know, this thing happens, people come and gather around from other boats and they're like, what's going on here? Right? Everybody consistently is in shock because as boaters, none of us love the fact that we had to buy fuel, these copious amounts of fuel to run our, run our boats. None of us love that, it just, that was just all there was. And when you explain it to them and, and people start connecting the dots and they're like, wow, like, don't have to fuel my boat. Oh, and it doesn't make noise. Oh, and I don't have maintenance. Oh, and it's enhanced performance. In that moment, they don't just see Voltari, they see the future. Well, gentlemen, I'm uh, talking to you tonight as uh, the uh, first mate here. We've got uh, Captain Levine at the helm. And I think uh, I can speak a little bit for us all to say that was a bit of a life-changing moment. I got to tell you personally how much fun I had not only doing these crazy crossings, but spending the quality time with the old man, fucking brothers. And here we go again. Thanks for those words, Cam. We'll see you out there. Bon voyage. Stand by as they build and launch the first fully electric performance boat. It's a story that can only be told once.